Marta is one of the most imposing and powerful antagonists that Blake Langerman will encounter during the events of the game Outlast 2. The avenging angel of the Prophet Sullivan Knopf, Marta is one of the most devoted followers of the cult of the Testament of the New Ezekiel, her role basically being Knopf's right hand his enforcer to punish those whose deeds may hurt the cult or go against its teachings. A role that not only strikes fear in the hearts of those who've turned their backs on the cult, but also keeps those who still believe in the prophet in line. Sparta! I've been going down there for all the clean chunny in Zion. What? That's Marta's piece. The story of Marta as we know it begins with her affiliation to the Testament of the New Ezekiel. While we know very little about Marta before Blake's adventures in Templegate, we do know that Noth apparently knew her all the way from her childhood, which would suggest that she likely grew up in the cult or joined them when she was quite young. This upbringing in a deeply religious setting, with Noth seemingly taking a major interest in her, likely caused Marta to seek the validation of her prophet. Noth going so far as to refer to her as his intimate companion, a title which, based off his history with the women of the cult and his seeming interest in her from her childhood, may have some darker connotations to the relationship than we are privy to. Regardless, Marta's time with the cult instilled in her a deep devotion to the testament of the new Ezekiel, and to the teachings of its prophet, Sullivan Noth. Growing up, Marta and Noth's relationship grew into one of reliance, Noth growing to see this strong woman as an avenging angel, an enforcer, someone to punish those who would sin against God, against the cult, and against Noth. However, Marta was reluctant to take on this new role of executioner. Murder, even if it was Noth's will, still felt like a sin, a blemish on her soul in the eyes of God, the guilt of taking another person's life constantly gnawing at her heart. But as Noth told her, these actions were the true will of God. Noth told Marta that inaction was the true sin, that if she stayed her hand in her enforcement, if she spared the life of one person who helped to bring the Antichrist into this world, then all the corpses at her feet would be nothing compared to her sin of sloth. And so, with the blessings of the prophet Noth, Marta slayed the wicked who turned their backs on his teachings. God, don't hear dead men. Be still. Marta's role as Noth's Hound quickly became a force of contention between her and the Testament of the New Ezekiel. The members of the cult began to fear her as she became an executioner for God. Noth's given role ostracizing her from the community that she'd grown up in, and forcing her into seclusion from the other members of the cult. And in her isolation, she only became more fanatical in her positions. Marta's life continued this way for quite some time following the wishes of God as she became judge, jury, and executioner for the community of Templegate, preparing herself for the inevitable arrival of the enemy that Noth had for so long prophesied, doing what she could to stop the Antichrist before it could ever come into this world. And, with the arrival of two outsiders, Noth made known that this event was finally upon them and Marta was ready to do her part to stop it. God, oh, do you Jesus. want him? Who? Then you'll have. God wants to be dead? Okay. During Blake Langerman's adventures in the deserts of Arizona, Marta will be a constant thorn in his side attempting to kill the cameraman for the sin of being the supposed father of the enemy. 
However, he's not her only focus, as other heretics amid the grounds of Templegate, and Noth's mission of hunting down the traitorous Val also called for her attention. Her duties to God and to her prophet, keeping her constantly toiling against the many sins that surround her. Marta and her life in Templegate is yet another example of a person who'd been led astray by the words of Sullivan Noth. Coerced into doing truly terrible things by this silver-tongued prophet, Marta never really had a chance to break free of his influence. Raised in his cult, told to be his enforcer under the threat of damnation, Marta only ever really knew the religion that had been laid at her feet. And even in the doubt that bore into her mind, to admit guilt in her actions would have been to admit that the prophet Sullivan Noth, the one who had been chosen by God, was imperfect. And so, with Noth's teachings running a constant loop through her mind, Marta hunted the mother and father of the enemy. A task which, in a cruel twist of fate, would see her stricken down by an act of God. The same God that she'd thought she'd committed her entire life to. God give me voice! God guide my hand! 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 